Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Dom from Lens Pro to Go and Lens Rentals and welcome back to the channel. This week, we got in a few copies of this beauty. It's the FEC 16-35T 3.1G Cine Servo Zoom from Sony. Translation, I'm excited. I'm a big fan of the powered zooms that Sony has rolled out in the years past and those are all F4. So if this thing is even faster and newer, well, I'm expecting great things. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I incorporated this awesome new lens from Sony into this on the fly single shooter interview kit that you see in front of you. Because I think this is going to be an excellent application for this lens, given its autofocus abilities, articulate servo zoom, and just in general, its cine optical quality. But before I get into the breakdown of this build here, I wanna go over a few standout things that you should know about this lens. First thing being, it's kind of huge. And that makes sense because there's a lot going on inside this lens. This is a pretty fast lens, so those optics are large to begin with. It's a zoom lens, so there's added mechanics in there. And of course, that zoom is powered, needing even more space for the circuitry and things that that requires. So that does leave you with a pretty chunky lens in the end, especially with the servo motor here at the bottom, which is removable if you want. The interface of this lens is quite nice. You get your aperture ring here, which you can toggle clicking on and off here with this switch. And you can also lock it into A mode using this switch. Next is the zoom ring. And here on the left side of the lens, you get this one zoom rocker. But to do any servo zooming on this lens, this switch down here on the motor has to be set to servo, not manual. This lens is capable of two zoom speeds, which we'll get into programming those speeds in a second. But as a shortcut, you can hit this switch right here on the other side of that motor to toggle between a high and a low speed. Finally, for the focus ring, you get a nice wide gear area here, which is nice. And to toggle between autofocus and manual focus, you grab the whole collar and lock it up or down. Okay, the last few things you need to know about this lens are things you're gonna find out in camera. And I'm using the FX3 today, and with the FX3, I can go into the zoom page and dial in those speed settings much more specifically. You can set different zoom speeds for each way the zoom can be controlled, on the lens, on camera, or remotely. And up here in zoom range, you can select two other options that use the camera's electronic zoom to extend the optical zoom range of the lens. And these are called digital zoom, which allows for a four times zoom after it gets to 35, which should be like 140 millimeter equivalent, and clear image zoom, which only allows you to zoom to what looks like the APS-C equivalent. Okay, so there's your quick breakdown of the things that I think you need to know about this lens. Now I'm gonna give you a breakdown of the single shooter interview rig I got going on here. So like I said, this lens was the inspiration for this whole rig, so this is obviously the jumping off point here. But for the camera, I wanted to keep it small and on the go, so I went with a Sony FX3. And it's got that added point of zoom control on the grip here too, if necessary. I'm gonna use the FX3's top handle XLR unit to get shotgun audio going straight into the camera, which is super streamlined. And I'll be able to mix those levels right here on this XLR unit too. I'm gonna put this small rig side handle on to give me a better grip area because with this wide lens, and I don't mean wide like focal length wide, there's not a ton of room for my fingers in there when I'm holding the FX3's grip. And that side handle has another purpose too because I'm going to build off that putting a Manfrotto Lycos 2.0 on a ball head coming off of that. So I have some nice, slightly off camera light that I hope isn't gonna be too saucy. And finally, the last thing this on the fly single shooter interview kit needed to be perfect, in my opinion, is a Manfrotto monopod. Now I'm completely mobile and on the move, ready to capture an interview practically anywhere, all while monitoring my audio levels and possibly getting a nice slow servo zoom being the only operator of this rig, which is really awesome. And if I needed to, I could pop this setup off the monopod real quick and fly around and get some B-roll and inserts. Okay, so now that I got this lens all built up and explained to you sort of what's going on here with it, now I'm gonna take this out and see what this lens is all about.
So there you have it for this video on my single shooter interview kit inspired by this awesome lens right here. The Sony FEC 16-35 T31G. So, if you have any questions about any of the pieces of gear I used on this rig, or you would have swapped one of these pieces of gear out for something else, let me know in the comment section below and we'll start a discussion. While you're down there, if you happen to like this video, hit that thumbs up button down below to let me know you liked it. And lastly, if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. And that way, you'll be in the loop whenever we post new content, which is every week. So take care, and we'll see you in the next one.